The initiation of your swing is really important. And it's also important to know that the initiation of your swing happens long before your takeaway. You see, your setup controls the movements for your swing. Whether or not you're using the system that I teach or some other golf theory, the setup is what controls your movements during the swing. This is why, like how many times have you tried to change the movements in your swing and you still get the same result? You still hit the, the over the top slice even though you're trying to change how the movements go in the swing? It's because you can't change the movements unless you change the setup position. That's true for everything. You know, if I'm throwing a ball this way and I want to throw it behind me, I can't change the movements until I change the setup position and now I can throw the ball behind me. So the same is true in the swing. And just so it's kind of obvious to you, check this out, right? So let's say I set up with my shoulders open towards the target, right? This is not a good thing. This is a bad position to start from. My club is going to come away more to the outside and steeply. Do you see that? This is simply controlled by my setup position. It has nothing to do with my movements. If I tried to move it differently, the setup position would override it or they would just fight each other and that produces nothing of value. Notice this, if I had a really weak grip where my right hand is on top of the club, I'm also going to take away the club more steeply and more upright. Now, once again, that has nothing to do with my movements. It has everything to do with my grip, which is my setup position. Well, in the setup position that I teach, we preset the movements for the swing in the setup. We preset the movements for a shallow, circular, and descending swing. That means shallow going to be a swing path that travels on the inside to out, which eliminates your over-the-top swing and it eliminates your slice immediately. It's descending, which means that the club descends down through the ball and you finally get to take a divot like pros do. Well, this is because we keep our weight planted on the forward foot and the position of your weight controls the bottom of your arc. How we get the shallow swing is by setting into a closed position, which forces the club to swing on an inside out and shallow swing path. So, and the circular part all comes from we keep our weight still. So the club works in a circular motion around this center axis point. And this shoulder is actually really well equipped to operate on an inside out swing path relative to golf. It is a three quarter rotating shoulder joint, which means that it loves to do this. There's no problem doing this. This does not damage it one bit. So given that, that means that we are remarkably well equipped to hit a ball. And if you preset the movements for the swing in the setup position, you don't have to worry about the takeaway. And this is an absolute truth. You know, the, the high, higher handicap, this is the fun of the system that I teach. You see, I shoot under par regularly. The cool thing about this system is you can do exactly what I do. You can make this swing, because this swing is simply based upon our anatomy. You have one, I have one. If you mimic my setup position and you keep your weight still, you can literally just send the club into the backswing with your arms relaxed. Now in the traditional swing, they tell you to relax your arms, but they also tell you to do stuff with your arms. So it's hard for your arms to relax when they're being given commands. Well, we don't give them any commands because we already gave them the commands in the setup position. Notice, setup. I pivot so that 70% of my weight is on my forward foot. This anchors, because I'm gonna keep my weight still throughout the swing, this anchors the fact that I'm gonna have a descending strike through the ball. Notice, if my weight's on my forward foot, the club always descends down through to my left foot. I can't even reach the ground back here because my weight is forcing that to occur. So I'm always gonna descend down through the ball, which means solid contact. Notice the closed setup position. Well, this closed setup position produces this inside out swing path, which means draw ball flight and the elim elimination of your slice. And the circular part is because when you keep your weight still, the club works in a circle. If the club works in a circle, it's working in its dynamic optimum. It breaks things, it's got a lot of power. No, it's working in its dynamic optimum. And that circular path is all controlled by simply this. How do you draw a circle? You hold the center of the circle still. If you want to make a perfect circle, you hold the center of the circle still, just like a nautical compass. You set the pin in and that, that pencil will always draw you a perfect circle. Well, when we hold the center of the circle still, we get to make a circle too. So you get to make a shallow circular and descending swing all by not being concerned with the movements of your hands and arms during the swing, because where has that gotten you anyway? And you get to keep your weight still so that it becomes very easy to repeat. You see, just keeping your weight still is a very simple and purposeful swing thought. It's something that controls the swing. 
So for example, our regulator in the swing is the fact that we keep our weight still. If I shifted my weight, well now the club can go to many different places than if I don't shift my weight. So by me keeping my weight still, I'm regulating the movements of the club to the setup position, because nothing's changing. If you shift your weight, now you've got movements that are occurring that are gonna send the club into a different direction. But if you just keep your weight still, the club is going to abide by your setup position, provided you remove yourself from the swing. You don't need to control the movements of your hands and arms because they've already been taken care of by the setup position. You need to focus on keeping your weight still. So, what do you think about during the swing? Simply keeping your weight still and sending the arms into the swing. If at any point during the swing you simply relax your arms, your arms are going to conform to the position of your body. That's what happens. That's what happens to all good players. Our arms are very relaxed during the swing so they conform to the position of our body. They don't send out, like when you see a guy and he's got a very perky, jerky swing and the movements are very uh, uh, abrupt and not fluid, it's because he's trying to control the movements for the swing. He's consciously sending the club into particular areas that he is, feels is a well-intended way to control the ball. He probably read something that talks about moving the club in a particular way, so he's trying to create that. Well, that's what makes the swing look funny. It's because he's over-involving himself in the swing. But if you just remove yourself from the swing, you, you, the higher handicapper, has no problem mimicking me simply by mimicking my setup position and then disregarding the movements of your hands and arms during the swing. Let your hands and arms just flow according to your setup position. And then if you have a miss, this is how you correct it. First, you ask yourself whether or not you, you focus on keeping your weight still. If the answer is no, simply do that and you're gonna have a correction. If you can answer yes that you kept your weight still, then you simply adjust your setup position. There's something wrong in the setup that is causing for the errant shot. So once you get into the proper setup position, which is the, what I teach, you pivot 70% of your weight on your forward foot so that you can secure all the movements for the swing, then you can disregard the movements for the swing and relax your hands and arms and they will flow and they will produce high quality shots for you. So watch me here, right? I'll pivot and then I grip. At this point, I've already set the movements for my hands and arms. You know, people will say to me, Jim, it looks like you set your hands quickly in the swing. Sure, yeah, it's because I have a strong grip. You see, if you have a weak grip, you're going to set your hands late in the swing. If you have a strong grip, you're going to set your hands early in the swing. That's just a product of the relationship from me to the club in the setup position. Well, you can create the same thing for yourself. So watch me here. I'll pivot, and then I grip. Like I said, movements for the club have been taken care of. So now I'm just gonna focus on planting my weight on my left foot and keeping it firmly planted on my left foot so that I have a center point for the club to swing around. The funny thing is, it's a sign of an athlete. Athletes are very relaxed with their appendages, arms, legs. They're very strong with their core. When you can become strong with your core in this setup position and just relax your hands and arms throughout the swing, you're gonna hit shots like that too. And then, once you do, and you start to move through the bag and you might struggle when you get to the longer clubs, sign up for the school and I'll show you how to hit every club in your bag and how to drop your scores quickly.